All right, and welcome to another edition to Boxing Al Garete with your host, Robert Sanchez. All right, so um, uh, I don't really have any news this morning. Um, the only reason I wanted to make a quick video before I get to work is that uh, when I was getting ready for work, um, I got a notification saying that Anthony Joshua was uh, doing a live stream on Instagram, so... I decided to tune in, you know, do my research, you know, maybe something good happened, maybe he had an announcement or something, you know, you never know with these things, but no, um, what I actually saw was that he put a live stream video of him, <clears throat> what it looked like, probably his home or something, uh, with a couple of his buddies uh, playing ping pong, yeah, they were having a very competitive ping pong game tournament whatever it is they were doing but they were playing ping pong so um i understand that a lot of uh, a lot of fans and a lot of uh people are gonna say oh well you know that just shows that uh that that he's handling the loss very well and then you know he's having fun and he's not thinking about you know um boxing right now and this and that and normally i would probably be on that same boat but if you guys follow Anthony Joshua, and if you guys uh, been noticing the stuff that he's done lately, then you would know that that this is just a little bit much. You know what I'm saying? Like this is just a little bit too much. He's trying too hard, y'all. He's very he he's trying too hard. Um, it, it was kind of like the same stunt, like the next day when he was in New York City, driving around in the car, you know, posting videos and stuff like that. It's kind of like just him just very, really, really trying too hard to show the people that he's okay. Um, In 1,000 feet, to the Minnesota 100 exit. <laughs> sorry about exit. that. Uh, like I said, I'm on my way to work. Um, I got the GPS going, you know, just to... Take the Minnesota 100 exit, then keep right at the fork. So, um, but anyways, sorry for the interruption again. Um, but like, yeah, like I was saying... Uh, keep right at the fork. He, he uh... He he just tries too damn hard, you know. He he's always doing these little videos. He did the he he said something about doing an MTV MTV Cribs show on that gym in Miami, Florida. You know, he's always doing these little goofy videos, and I don't know if it's if it's like UK humor or something, or I I don't know what's going Keep on. Keep left at the fork. But. I just, I'm worried, you know, like, I'm worried about, about him and about his really mental health. Continue for eight miles. If, if, if they're doing this just to, uh, to, to, uh, to get the people, like, on his side again, to get sympathy from people, or at least to make them think <laughs> that something that's there that's not, you know, I, I really think that that Anthony Joshua should listen to to his dad. I think his dad's seeing something that he's not, and I think his dad's seeing that he's surrounded by a lot of uh, yes men and a lot of people that really don't have his best interests at heart and that are more looking out for themselves than actually for him. So um, I just, like I said, um, I don't think this is the, the the right thing to be doing. I think he should actually be trying to get himself together if he's really serious about. Andy Reese rematch with which a lot of people have said it's a mistake, me included. I feel he should have a tuna fight, build that confidence back up, get his mindset right. <laughs> and uh, like I said, you know, and then take the rematch. But you know, they, they they have a lot of pressure right now. And what they gotta understand is that the pressure is what the pressure is what got him in trouble in the first place. So, you know, the pressure from uh, around uh, Wilder's first round knockout, that he him announcing on fight week that he was fighting Ortiz in a rematch, you know that was a lot of lot of lot of lot of pressure. You know, first United States fights in New York, the Miller situation with the steroids, you know, just a lot of shit going on. So I don't really think this helps the situation. I just think it makes it worse. But hey. That's my opinion. Um, just wanted to get your guys' thought on this. Please comment. Uh, hit the like button or dislike button, whatever you guys would like. Please share. 
and uh, have a great day and uh, peace.